They added more colors last Welcome, time. Welcome, Genki so. enthusiasts, to the third and final match of My Over Murder. So far, the Saints head honcho and former leader of the free world has been racking up wins in our latest event. How do you think it'll go today, Bobby? Given this player's previous performances, I can only expect a great show and a big W in the win column, Zach. I have to agree, Bobby. It seems there's nothing this contestant can't do, including outshining Zinyak's own people with her own powers. Careful what you say there, Zach. Remember what happened to us both after your breakdown at the end of the last show. <laughs> oh, well, the Wardens have uh, very big hands, Bobby. Yes, they do. I'm just glad to be able to sit down comfortably again. <laughs> oh, I hear ya. Well, like my eighth grade gym teacher used to say, the probe is no joke. <laughs> oh, you said that one. I hope our contestant is doing better than I am right now. Well, Bobby, seeing the president in action here reminds me of the tales about the king. I was thinking the same thing, Zach. If only we had been around to see those matches firsthand. Now, for those at home who haven't heard the stories, what do they need to know now? This was decades ago. Zinyak had conquered a planet of warriors. Much like our contestant, one of them stood above the rest and challenged Zinyak himself. Zinyak threw everything he had at the man, but the king just did not stop. Eventually, Zinyak managed to rip the king's mind from his body and bury it deep within his own simulation. Ever since, the king has been looking to escape and get his revenge against our most benevolent overlord. Well, let's hope we never see him again, huh, Bobby? Oh, the king has probably driven himself insane by now. Can you imagine being locked away for so many years with just yourself to talk to? I've had that dream, Bobby. I sit there it's talking cold about. and it's dark and it's lonely. So lonely. <laughs> oh, there, there, Zach. Come on now. You're never going to be alone. Lonely. Not while I'm around. Come here, buddy. Lonely. So cold. I it's really sad. Smashing performance by the contestant so far. Smashing? I don't think I've heard you use that before. Well, I'm trying something new, Pete. Well, what do you think? You know, I've always wanted an occasion to use jolly good. Oh, hello there, little British, are you? That's a classic right there. Hard to pull off with an American accent, though. Like trying to use bloody. And arse. <laughs> what is up with Americans using arse? <laughs> yeah, arse never works. But I know people who use it all the time. I don't get it. Well, some things are just mysteries, Bobby. I've been thinking, Bobby, have you seen the professor around much? Not since the mass abduction and obliteration of the Earth, Zach. I can't help but think he's watching over us from wherever he is, uh, like a guardian angel. A sick, sadistic, cat-headed guardian angel. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe he's hiding in the shadows with a baseball bat and a hand grenade just waiting for an opportunity to bash someone's head in and make them go boom! A much more likely scenario, Zach. Good girls kick ass. That is what folks tune into this event for. Absolutely. That and your stellar commentary, Zach. Well, thanks, guy. You know, you're no slouch yourself, Bobby. I have always been impressed by your wordplay. Well, you forced me to step up my game in order to keep up with you, Zach. <laughs> We're running out of things to say, aren't we? We absolutely are, Zach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Three glorious bouts and a fine end to 
Professor Genki's Mind Over Murder! Zack and I would like to thank Zinyak for his continued support of the show and for sparing our lives so we may continue to exalt his most highest glory. Good night, everybody! everybody. <laughs> I'm just gonna stand here. Soon you will be able to say you have done all my tasks for me. After you come talk to me again, that is. Huh. We're just about done with the with the Sid stuff. I guess all we have to do now is just talk to him. Building up like dubstep gun. You have done well. Now I will no longer be the cause of you not completing all the tasks available for you to do. Uh, Here is your immediate reward as well. It. Pleasure yeah, doing business, done. I think. Telekinesis element. Oh, now we can catch. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, hey. We have, uh, some additional Genki weapon costumes for the weapons. Looks like all the infinite ammo stuff comes around uh, level 50 again. Which is a shame, because I recall some of the infinite ammo stuff in Saints Row 3 popping up around like 47, 46. Roughly. That might have been infinite reload, or no reload. It's possible. Walk me through how Sid is going to help us free Matt. Um, are you really sure about this? I mean, I know he can help, but it's Matt Miller. We need all the help we can get. 
How do we get him? Well, I guess did the proper cipher to connect to Matt's personal simulation, and he opens the gateway. This should be a fucking adventure. <laughs> Charge capacity and damage need no more. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Uh. No. Now what we're are getting we Matt on? Miller. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Yeah. I was shocked when the boss picked you to be the vice president, but you ended up working out. That's only vaguely insulting. <laughs> Look, you sound just like Julius Little. Putting a guy who betrayed you in the number two slot seems like a great way to get killed. I'm nothing like Julius. Kinsey, we're ready. I'm sending you <laughs> to the jailbreak. Any last advice? When you're inside Matt's virtual oubliette, there's a decent chance that I'll be focusing on interfacing with the intrusion countermeasures, so pay attention to the console commands. Any last advice I'll understand. Don't get killed. Gotcha. Look, you sound just like Julius. <laughs> Hi. Matt Miller, the self-proclaimed hacker god, ran all the cyber terrorism for the syndicate back in Steelport. No, he's Asha's right-hand man in MI6. I just hope we can trust him like she does. Oh, this again. Uh, oh, no. Uh, you can give me a gun any time, Kinsey. Well, you don't have superpowers either. Jesus Christ, Kinsey. Why the fuck are there words in my face? It's a command prompt. Just give me a second. <laughs> 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 this brings back memories. Damn it! The camera's screwed up. <sighs> you just have to deal with it. Fucking 80s. Just throwing this out there, but uh, I don't want to be staring at the ground for the rest of my life. I'm trying, but I'm not used to the code they're using. Give me a second. This is my town. Could it be as simple as 3D? Don't you dare hit enter, Kinsey! Oops, sorry. Finger slipped. Oh, cycle array. Oh my gosh. I, I totally get it now. <laughs> like a what? Oh, thank God. There should be three data towers controlling Ooh. the security to Matt's prison. Finally, I get to just blow shit up. Well, I wouldn't want you to go outside your comfort zone. <laughs> God, hold on. I'm not used to using these tanks. I must say, I am amused at this attempt to save a man who tried to kill you once. <laughs> Three times, Zinyak. Try to keep up. All the same, what is it you hope to accomplish? Mr. Miller is beyond your help. We'll see about that. <sighs> Very well. Your futile attempts do entertain me, after all. Saints rule even here. Oh, crap, I'm so bad. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta remember which way is forward. I'm driving backwards. Oh, that's a lot of firepower. Destroying the tower should destroy the tanks with it. This Kensington is rather astute for a human. Yeah, well, big towers controlling security on a linear path. Not very creative for your superior intelligence. Ugh, touche. Are those the towers she's talking about? The green thing? I don't know. The symbol. Oh, the symbol.